Critics generally consider Remus' performance in this film as the best of his career, and this sequence makes full use of his talent, though in a pathetic register that contrasts with the explosive performances of irascibility that first made him a star, most notably as César in the Marseille trilogy. Now alone in the bakery, Amable is entranced in grief and disbelief, muttering to himself as he mechanically attempts to start a new batch of bread. This crucial shot will recur at the end of the film, looking out from inside the cold, empty oven, which serves as a signifier of his home, his wife's womb, the village, and the French nation as the whole. He mutters, everything is burned, I have to light the oven, and fetches kindling, but places it in the kneading trough instead. That feeling of desolation was palpable among France's largely working-class moviegoers during the film's theatrical run between September 1938 and April 1939, as a newly formed conservative government dismantled the social legislation passed two years earlier by the socialist-led Popular Front. In November 1938, France's Marxist labor unions called a protest strike, which generated lukewarm public support and was repressed by French police, who for the first time in the nation's history used tear gas to disperse peaceful demonstrators. Crémus's performance of that collective despair drew special praise from Orson Welles, who saw the film in New York City in late 1940 and told the New York Times after its gala premiere that Rému was the greatest actor in the world whose only possible equal is Chaplin. In all, La Femme du Boulanger ran for 20 weeks in New York, setting box office records for a French import. 